In a dramatic turn of events on Tuesday, the knockout rounds of The Voice season 24 concluded with an emotional display by John Legend, prompting producers to make unprecedented rule changes. Legend's tears, triggered by singer-songwriter Lennon Vanderdose's performance, fueled speculation that Lennon might receive a unique invitation back to the competition. Host Carson Daly gathered the coaches and announced a historic twist due to the exceptional talent this season, with an increase in four chair turns during the blinds and extraordinary knockout performances. The show then revealed a FaceTime call to four previously eliminated contestants, generating ecstatic reactions and raising suspicions that Lennon Vanderdoes could be among them. Lennon's standout performance of Jason Mraz's I Won't Give Up left the entire cast in tears, including legend, Gwen Stefani, Niall Horan, and even contestant Alexa Wildish. Legend, overwhelmed with emotion, expressed his difficulty in stopping the tears and praised Lennon's moving performance. The episode also featured other impressive knockout performances, such as Alexa Wildish's rendition of Cher's Believe and 13-year-old Julia Room tackling Sia's Unstoppable. The show concluded with the announcement of a new comeback rule, leaving viewers eagerly anticipating the playoffs on November 27 to discover which contestants will return. In the Team Legend knockouts, Brandon Montel and Mac Royals competed against OG Team Legend member Taylor Deneen. Despite strong performances, the high-quality level of talent made Legend's decision challenging. Ultimately, Mac Royals won, and Taylor Deneen was saved. Team Reba's Jordan Rayner stood out with her country performance, earning her a victory in the knockouts. However, the lack of coverage for her opponents, Elizabeth Evans and Caitlin Quisenberry, raised questions about Jordan's connection with viewers. As the season unfolds, the unprecedented rule changes promise an unpredictable and thrilling journey for both contestants and viewers alike.